Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas as Premier Boxing Champions presents the Fox Sports PBC Pay-Per-View featured bout of the evening brought to you by Bomb Squad Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Mayweather Promotions as sponsored by Tecate, the official beer of boxing. Twin Peaks Restaurants, Eats, Drinks, Scenic Views, and Recover 180. Rapid hydration when it counts. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC, the president, Mauricio Suleiman, judges at ringside, Eric Cheek, Dave Moretti, and Steve Weisfeld. <laughs> all right, fans, here we go with a bout you've all been waiting for. 12 rounds of boxing in a rematch for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, it's time for the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing to you first the challenger, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with gray trim, Finding out of Miami, Florida, by way of Kamawe, Cuba. He weighed in at a ready 236 and one half pounds. His record stands at 31 wins, one loss, with 26 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, looking to avenge his only loss and to become the first ever heavyweight world champion from Cuba, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hard-hitting and fearsome heavyweight world contender, introducing uh, Luis King Kong Ortiz. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, the longest reigning heavyweight world champion in boxing today, wearing gold trunks with white trim, fighting out of and representing his home of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. He weighed in, won 219 and one half pounds with a sensational record of 41 wins, no losses in one draw. He has 40 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the U.S. Olympic bronze medalist and the acclaimed knockout artist tonight making the 10th defense of his title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated, reigning and defending WBC heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the bronze bomber, Deontay. And now here's our referee in charge, now to give instructions, Kenny Bayless. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to keep this fight clean at all times, play Olympia. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you, touch them up. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship showdown. You see the height and the reach advantage in favor of Deontay Wilder. Luis Ortiz, six years older than the champion. Their first fight was a classic back in March of 2018. What will we see here tonight at the MGM Grand Garden Arena? Wilder is 1-0 in rematches. We are underway. Here we go, Ortiz is a southpaw, conventional is Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder, one of only three fighters in boxing to land 30% or more of his jabs. He has very good boxing skill, does the bronze bomber. He's so athletic, but they say that Luis Ortiz, he looks in impeccable shape as Ortiz coming forward, trying to back up Deontay Wilder. Wilder pawing with the jab. Using the jab to the midsection was Wilder. Ortiz looking to get closer. You see that, that foot, he's trying to get on the inside of the foot of Wilder. 
Ortiz with the right hook to the body. Left by Wilder to the body of Ortiz. A lot of respect between the two. Wilder's not going in to be ultra aggressive here in the first. It's a feeling out round. Ortiz is sweating. Ortiz looking to get closer. There's a big straight left that connects on Wilder. Wilder ties up. That's the first big power punch of the fight, and it goes to Luis Ortiz. Wilder with a right hand, a straight left that comes the way of Wilder from Ortiz. Wilder using the jab. At any one moment, this fight can end. Jab comes out by Wilder. Jab right to the midsection by Wilder on Ortiz. Under 30 seconds left here in the first. There's a straight left by Ortiz. That connects on Wilder. This is more of an active round for Luis Ortiz. Final moments of the first. Round one draws to a close. We'll go in and listen in to Herman Caicedo, the trainer. And now some blood. Wow. Wondering where that happened. Herman Caicedo, the trainer of Luis Ortiz. Yeah, get closer, get closer. Taking a look at where that might have occurred. Oh, there's a big straight left by Ortiz. And it came from the clash of heads right there as we see. Great job by our fantastic crew. It was an accidental clash of heads and it's above, it's by the hairline of one Luis Ortiz. Round two, this one is scheduled for 12. Deontay Wilder looking to become the sixth fighter to successfully defend the heavyweight championship of the world 10 times. And Chanta Kuba here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Jab comes out by Wilder. Right to the midsection is Ortiz. Ortiz is now loosened up. You can see that he's got sweat on his body, as does Wilder. Both men getting into the mix. There's a straight right by Wilder. The jab followed by the right. We'll see what Ortiz tries to do. Oh, anxious moments here in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Jab comes out by Luis Ortiz right to the midsection of Deontay Wilder. Both men picking their spots, sweeping left that misses by Wilder. Ortiz came back with a straight left that missed. Look at Wilder's eyes, he's so locked in. Both men extremely focused, knowing that one punch can end the fight. 80 seconds left here in the second. A right hand to the body that was blocked by Ortiz. So far, it's an even round. A 
left to the body by Ortiz. Jab by Deontay Wilder still hasn't landed his trademark right hand. There's a straight left by Ortiz. Ortiz crowding Deontay Wilder comes forward. But Wilder gets right back to the center of the ring. He's so athletic as Wilder. A jab for Wilder. Final moments of the second. Jab by Wilder, and that ends the second. Listen in to the corner of Deontay Wilder. Mark Breland told Deontay Wilder, he goes, I want the right hook followed by the right hand. That's what I want. Round three, this one is scheduled for 12. There is Luis Ortiz, Deontay Wilder. I think Ortiz has, did enough to win that second round. I think Ortiz and you see the punches. Neither man has really landed anything definitive. Total punches thrown, there you saw. Just goes to show you that the heavyweights are so powerful. Both men respect each other a considerable amount. A left hook, a left to the body by Ortiz. Left hook by Deontay Wilder. Well, there's a straight left that backed up Deontay Wilder, wondering if Ortiz feels as if he has Wilder hurt. He backed up Wilder with that straight left. And Ortiz is changing his levels a little bit. Wilder trying to use feints. Potentially a matchup with Wilder and Fury, a rematch if Wilder's successful tonight against Luis Ortiz. There's that right hand. It was blocked by Luis Ortiz. There's a left to the body, and Wilder pounds his chest as to say, come on. But back comes Luis Ortiz. Just over the halfway mark of round three. Combustible elements with Ortiz and Wilder. Both men are chiseled in this heavyweight championship main event. We'll see if Ortiz can continue to fight. I mean, this is a pace that favors Ortiz. And if you're Wilder, I'm curious to see if he's going to use his jab, but as Wilder has talked about many times, you have to be perfect against me for 36 minutes. Oh, there's a big overhand left, and a left to the body by Ortiz. Ortiz has said that he knows he's got to pitch nearly a perfect game against Wilder. Here's a right hand that connects flush for Wilder, but Ortiz comes forward. He ate it well. Wilder's eyes are opening up. Nearing the end of the third round. A left to the body by Luis Ortiz. And that's the end of the third.
Now taking a look at some of the work. There's the straight left by Luis Ortiz. Wilder with the jab, but there's that straight left that momentarily buckled Deontay Wilder. Chopping overhand left. But Wilder did land a right hand of his own. As you see Wilder, there's that left that was partially blocked by Wilder. There is Herman Caicedo. Deontay Wilder looks up at the big screen to take a look at some of the replay. We are into round four. Again, history on the line for both. Wilder can become the sixth fighter to successfully defend the heavyweight championship of the world 10 consecutive times. Would be the sixth guy to do so. For Ortiz, he would be the first Cuban to win the heavyweight championship of the world and the second oldest fighter to capture the heavyweight crown. The oldest, George Foreman at 45. He did it in November of 1994 here at the MGM Grand when he knocked out Michael Moore. Luis Ortiz entered this fight a considerable underdog, almost a five to one underdog. Jab coming out by Deontay Wilder. Ortiz aiming to close the distance. There's a big left hand that missed another one. Wilder smiling, almost inviting Ortiz in. Jab comes out by Wilder. There's a right hand, a straight left by Ortiz. Another one, three. Big lefts and Wilder pounds his chest and says, come on, let's fight. Here we go. The crowd rises to their feet. You have to love the champion's determination to want to engage in a firefight at times. But Ortiz backs up, he's not rushing in. Could be head games by Wilder to draw him in so he can land his signature straight right hand. Quite a bit of Cuban fans in attendance here at the MGM Grand. You hear chants of Ortiz, Ortiz. Under a minute remaining here in the fourth. It's looking similar to that of the first fight. Very similar when it comes to the athletic chess match between Wilder and Ortiz. Both men have gotten better, but both men, styles make fights. And these two gentlemen are almost made for one another. Under 30 seconds left in round four. Wilder looking to throw it. There's a right hand that was blocked by Ortiz, but it caught the attention of the Cuban. There's a left right to the body of Wilder. That's the end of the fourth. There's a left. Taking a look at some of this action. And Wilder pounded his chest and said, come on, bring it. And again, you see that right hand that was blocked by Ortiz. If he hadn't blocked that, it could have been lights out. Luis Ortiz, it's very possible that he could have won the first four rounds. Average punches around 
They're not throwing much, but it just goes to show you as to how dangerous they are. But Ortiz, oh, there's a straight left that connected by Ortiz. Wondering if Wilder is looking to bring Ortiz into those deep waters and try to finish him off late. The jab by Wilder and Chan, dueling chance of Wilder and Ortiz. Back comes Ortiz. Ortiz's confidence is growing, but he must remain diligent with his defense because you could get caught at any one moment. All Wilder needs is one punch. He has a knockout percentage of 95%. There's a right, a left over the top. That missed as Ortiz ducked underneath. Wilder is being more active here in the fifth. There's a left right to the body by Luis Ortiz. Ortiz is fighting a brilliant fight. And Ortiz Looked for the left to the body. Wilder got out of the way in impressive athletic fashion. Oh, there's a jab that caught the attention of Wilder as we have 60 seconds left in the fifth. Nothing like watching two top heavyweights colliding in the ring with so much on the line. History, legacy, championship gold. Ortiz with the jab right to the left to the body. Wilder covering up. Ortiz is focusing in on the body of Wilder. There's a right hand that barely missed Ortiz. Oh, my. That was a big swing and a miss as Wilder ate a straight left from Luis Ortiz. Nearing the end of the fifth with Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz. A better round for Wilder. There's a right hook by Ortiz, and that is the end of the round. Let's take a look at the highest knockout percentage in heavyweight history. Wilder, the most at 95%. Rocky Marciano second, and along with Vitaly Klitschko, George Foreman 85%, Mike Tyson 76%. So Wilder has the highest knockout percentage in heavyweight history by a significant margin. Approaching round six. And Ortiz taking some time to get off his stool. Coming up on round six. This one's scheduled for 12. Deontay Wilder aiming for his 10th consecutive title defense. Luis Ortiz is trying to become the first Cuban to win the heavyweight championship of the world. Ray Flores ringside here in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. And Ortiz starting off round six aggressive. Wilder popping out his jab. Wilder with a wide base. As his feet spread apart, quite wide. It is. Both men know what is on the line, and both men. Neither man wants to make a mistake. It could be catastrophic if they do make a mistake.
Herman Caicedo and company, they have put together a brilliant game plan. You know Mark Brilliant and JD's always have Deontay Wilder ready to fight. Into the sixth. 100 seconds left here in our sixth round. Jab for Wilder, trying to answer back is Ortiz. Wilder seems to be reluctant to throw the jab. Now he throws it. Doubling up on the jab now as the bronze bomber has a high connect percentage with his jab. That's not happening here tonight. Oh, there's a left hook. Answering back with a right hook was Ortiz. Ortiz is fighting so well, a co cool, calm, and collective. But as is Deontay Wilder, there is no signs of panic from the champion. There's a left handed block by Wilder. Ortiz advancing forward. Doubling up on the jab was Ortiz. Herman Caicedo telling Ortiz he wants him to throw. They don't want Ortiz to remain stationary because that gives Wilder a better target. Ortiz is jabbing well, moving the slight little movements that could very well be giving Wilder some issues. Under 10 seconds remaining here in the sixth. Oh, they got close, and Ortiz, oh my, it could end at any one moment, ladies and gentlemen, we're halfway home. There is Ortiz coming forward. Well, Wilder is waiting for his openings, but you can't wait too long. But again, there's a reason why he is the heavyweight champion of the world. We're approaching the second half of the fight, and it looks very similar to the first fight. Round seven, scheduled for 12. Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz Wilder with a left hook to the body of Ortiz. We'll see if Wilder picks up the pace here in the second half of the fight. There are some ringside observers who have Ortiz ahead, five to one. I even think I saw a scorecard of six to nothing from media observers. There's a left hook to the body by the champion. He's trying to size up Ortiz, a straight left. They both try to size each other up, a left hook by Wilder. There's a straight left by Ortiz. They both are now swinging at close distance. Like two big sluggers that could end the night with one swing. Anticipation, people here in Las Vegas on the edge of their seats. We greatly appreciate you joining us wherever you are around the world. Wilder using his jab, but even for Deontay Wilder, he isn't throwing as much as he has during the course of his career. A lot of respect that he has for King Kong, a right hand by Wilder. There's a right hand by Wilder that missed. This is a tactical fight between two men who have one punch erasers. There's a right hand and Ortiz shrugs it off as to say, come on, man, what was that?
Under a minute left here in the seventh. High drama here, the fighting capital of the world. As Ortiz plots forward. A left hook to the body by Wilder. There's a left, a straight left that connects by Ortiz. He might have Wilder hurt. A left to the body by Ortiz. Ortiz picking up the pace. Ortiz trying to cut off the ring, overhand left. Now Wilder needs to get back in the center as King Kong trudges forward. A right hand, down goes Ortiz! Oh my goodness! This one is over! There is a reason why he is the baddest man on the planet. Example right there as Deontay Wilder has once again finished off Luis Ortiz in spectacular fashion. He is now the sixth heavyweight in history with 10 successful title defenses in a row. Deontay Wilder, you are a bad, bad man. One punch is all it takes. And good night to Luis Ortiz. Unbelievable. You've heard Dwalipa say, one kiss is all it takes. Well, I will tell you this. One punch is all it takes for Deontay Wilder. That was spectacular. The Bob Squad is out tonight. Great respect by Great respect by Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz. Wow. Deontay Wilder soaking in the victory. What a performance. All you need is one shot. The family man, the father of eight, came out tonight. He took his time, he didn't panic, and bang! Game over. What a moment as he has one of his children with him. What a masterful knockout again for Deontay Wilder. Taking a look at it, boom! Oh my, crashing to the canvas. Deontay Wilder, taking a look at it again. Ortiz came forward, the jab, and Wilder steps back, and he looks at his target, boom! Oh my goodness, nighty night. That is destructive. Boom. Deontay Wilder with as impressive of a finish as you can find. And there is the Bronze Bomber.
with this family embraces with JD's. Taking a look at it again. Boom. Landed flush. And down went Luis Ortiz. The jab, Ortiz pawed it away. Boom. Good night. And Kenny Bayless waved it off. That was special. He put on a special performance on a special night. What power by Deontay Wilder. And there's the reaction from ringside observers. Tremendous. Here, now here with the particulars, here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Gotta get this work, gotta waste no time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 51 seconds in round number seven. Our referee in charge, Kenny Bayless, reaches the count of 10. He is the winner by way of spectacular knockout, still undefeated and still the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. performance by Deontay Wilder. Unbelievable. And he is standing by with Heidi Entrell. Thank you very much, Brian. He just gave me a nice little fist bump and said, I'm back to me. <laughs> Let's not make them wait. Let's do the bomb squad right now. Bring it. Bomb squad! you do that tonight. Congratulations to you, Deontay. I know how much you wanted to prove that you are the baddest man on the planet. It has been decades since we have seen a heavyweight do the things that you've done inside this ring. It's been since the times of Tyson, Lennox Lewis. What does it mean to you to finally be able to say, and do you feel like you're finally starting to chip away at those critics? First off, like I always say, if you give God the glory, he'll give you the victory. And you've seen that tonight. He gave me the victory. Second, I'd like to thank my whole team. I'd like to thank Fox for an amazing job you guys did with promoting the fight and putting on, on the fight for these people. Second, I'd like to thank everyone up in here. Thank you guys so much for your love and your support. You guys are fucking amazing. This fight. You took on a man who came in very game, very ready, in shape, no excuses. You both were healthy. I know you have a lot of respect for Luis Ortiz, but what did you see in that moment? You've said to me that you knew his body language from the last fight. Mm -hmm. Take us through what you saw that led to that big right hand. Well, with Ortiz, you can see why no other heavyweight wants to fight him. He's very, he very crafty in the ring. He moves strategically and his intellect is very high up in the ring, so I had to play around with him. I had to calculate certain moves. Um, I had to uh, measure him in certain places. And um, in what places were you measuring him specifically? You know, in and out. I was in and out. Sometimes I'll, I'll back on my back feet. Yeah. Some say I can't fight on my back feet, but that's my specialty, you know? And I had to go back, I had to go forward, had to go back and go forward, you know, different, different tactics, you know? My intellect is very high in the ring, although I don't get no credit for it. But, um, you know, I had to go in, I had to go out, you know, I had to throw the right hand a couple of times to see and how he reacts. And that left hook, Joe and, um, was talking about. And I finally, I finally found my measurement, you know, and um, I, I, I took the shot, I seen the shot, and I took it, you know. I think I heard him one time, well, bust him a little bit with the left hook. That was the start of it. And then uh, I took my approach from there. But uh, Ortiz is one of the best in the world. You got to give him that. That's why I gave him the second opportunity so he can feed his family and his beautiful daughter as well. He have his beautiful wife in the audience. And um, I just want to tell them thank you so much for allowing Ortiz to come in the ring and share his energy with me and um, display a, such an amazing talent. Hopefully, the other heavyweights in the division, and I see a lot of them in the audience, get this man an opportunity. 
He's one of the best. Who would you like next? There's obviously the rumors of Tyson Fury. We've got another big heavyweight bout coming up with Andy Ruiz and, of course, Anthony Joshua. Who do you want to face next? Well, my next, of course, we have Tyson Fury to rematch next. When and, and where? Do you, can you tell us when that's going to be? Well, this schedule is set um, to be um, done in February, so we'll see um, how that goes. And then after that, I'm looking for a unification bout. I want one champion, one face, one name, and he go by the name of Deontay Wilder. The heavyweight division is too small to have so many belts lingering around. There should just be one champion. It's too confusing for the fans, you know, and um, I think I'm the perfect man for that job. Congratulations to you, Deontay. Your 10th consecutive defense of the WBC heavyweight title. You now tie Muhammad Ali with Thank that so number. Much. Congratulations. Let's get it. I got to get it over to Jordan Plant. Almost Last word. <laughs> Last word. Thank you again, fans. And let's get a bomb squad again, baby. One, two, three. Bomb squad.